Welcome back to another episode. Today we're going to be talking about an orbit equation. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything, and I'm going to literally start with the equation that we are going to learn today. And here it is on the board. R equals P over 1 plus E cosine theta. And I think the only term that you know here is 1. I don't even think you know what a cosine is. That's right, I said it. So don't worry. We're going to go through every variable that is written on this equation in this video. So usually when people use R in physics, they usually refer it to the radius of something, a radius of a circle maybe. But no, in astrodynamics, it's actually the distance from the center of the planet to the spacecraft, which I'm going to denote it as a dot. And spacecraft is literally, you know, a satellite. And the distance from the center of the Earth to the spacecraft is R. And a lot of the times, even in um, undergraduate level, um, students make a mistake where they say R is the distance from the surface of the Earth to the satellite um, to the spacecraft. No, that's the altitude. That is not R. R is the center um, from the center of the Earth to the spacecraft. So if we denote R including the radius of the Earth, it would look like I'm going to use capital R Earth, and this is radius of the Earth plus altitude. All right, we got that down. Moving on to the next variable. Okay, so we are moving to P. What is P? P is just a geometric constraint, um, similar to E. E is E, which is um, how elliptic the orbit is. That's also a geometric constraint. Uh, and P, you can just measure it by literally going from the center of the planet and just go straight up, and the place that it meets the orbit, that is P. So P is obviously length, right? Uh, that's pretty much it. And we are going to be covering cosine theta because I believe this is a very important concept in order to fully understand the orbit equation. Um, this is how the cosine theta graph looks like. It starts from 1, and then as the degrees increases, it goes down, it, re it reaches the minimum at um, 180 degrees, and then it goes back up, and then it reaches 1 again, which is its maximum, at 360 degrees. And you might be wondering, why is this so important? Well, because we just covered all the variables from the orbit equation. And we are going to see what this really means, because if you just see the equation itself and just think about the variables, it doesn't really make sense. It doesn't have any meaning. All right, so we're going to assume the spacecraft is literally right above the planet in the 2D form. This is literally in 90 degrees, okay? And remember, the distance r is from the spacecraft to the center of the Earth. Okay, so let's, let's look at our equation. This is very important. I'm going to be really, really excited. So P is a geometric constraint. It does not change. It's a constant. 1 is also a constant. E is also a geometric constraint. This is also a constant. So what's the only variable that's changing? Well, R, which is the distance from the um, spacecraft to the Earth, and theta. And theta is actually... I did not talk about this, but theta is from the horizontal um, axis to the spacecraft. That is theta, okay? That angle. And theta does change because as spacecraft moves, theta changes like this, right? So this now this is theta, and the theta has just increased. Okay, so here we go. R equals P over 1 plus E cosine theta. All right, so we're going to say um, theta, um, spacecraft is moving in a counterclockwise direction. What does that mean? Theta is increasing because over here 
theta is actually greater than 90 degrees. So what that means is uh, if we look at this part of the cosine, the value of cosine theta is going down. What does that mean? If it's going down, that means r, the distance, is increasing. That's right. But there's an inflection point. Uh, I'm going to probably denote this as green right here, which is 180 degrees. Why is there an inflection point? Because over here, which is 180 degrees, the value of cosine theta starts to increase. Um, and what does that mean? If theta is increasing over here, the cosine theta is increasing, that means the value of r is actually decreasing. And you have to kind of think of it. So does this equation make sense? That's always really important when you have an equation. Like, does this equation really meet the reality? Um, okay, so let's think about this. So I'm going to get red, and we have our spacecraft here. This is R. Um, this is R. And R seems very, very small, right? For now, it's 90 degrees. 90 degrees and cosine theta is in this point, so it's zero. So it's just p over p over one, which makes sense because didn't we know that this is p? That's right. And then as the spacecraft is moving in the counterclockwise direction, um, theta is increasing, and we can see r is increasing as well. The distance is increasing. So there you have it. Our majestical equation, and you guys know what liter what it means, and I'm really really happy now you're part of our community r equals p over 1 plus e cosine theta so um this is a very important equation i guess go to your friends show off your knowledge and i'll see you guys in the next episode